you mentioned the issues in the run game. How much of that is the uh, not having preseason games? And when you look at the issues, how close do you think uh, your team is to cleaning up some of those details? Uh, Derek didn't take a snap in the preseason last year, and I don't know how many plays our starters played in preseason, but that's certainly not the issue. Um, you know, we just have to do things better, um, continue to work on our techniques, continue to work on our understanding and the details, uh, and, and try to get things going. Uh, Teron? Yeah, Coach, in, in your defensive room, how do you go about – grading the pass rush outside of sacks? Like when you mark accomplishments for the guys, what are some of the other measurables that, that you use? Did, did they win? Did they affect the throw? Did they disrupt the timing? Um, did they execute the game, you know, or stunt the way that we're coaching it? And then if I could get a question on, on Eric Kendricks, he's – traditionally been a really good pass defender. What is it about him that makes him so good in, in, in pass defense for the Vikings? Just a very instinctive player. Um, you know, he's quick. Uh, he, he's athletic and, and, and certainly uh, has a nose for the football, whether you're running it or, or you're trying to, to throw it. Uh, Jim? Hey, Mike, just curious, what has, uh, I guess, the protocols, how has that changed maybe day after game for you? Maybe how do Mondays and Tuesdays look different now compared to years past? And, and how, how does that work for you so far? Um, you know, we're, we're not able to um, have the, the full team meeting. You know, you can only have meetings of 15 players. Um, so, I will uh, – so we're going to have – you know, we've been having Monday off this past Monday. Allow our players to have the day off, come in, get treatment, and then come back in on Tuesday with – allow us to meet with a little larger group. I think the, the protocols are the day after the game. You, you, can have, you can be in here, but, but you can't have meetings for more than – with more than 15 players. And, and one other question for a different subject. With, with, I guess with the new practice squad rules and maybe some more veterans on, the, on it and the likelihood maybe of guys getting called up for game days greater, do you approach anything different from a practice week standpoint as far as incorporating those guys or is it still business as usual? Well, I mean, I think that they have – you know, you have to be careful how much work those guys are getting and taking away from the, some of the other guys that are on the, you know, immediate 53-man roster. But they're still expected to, to understand the game plan. They, they travel, uh, and I think that they understand that they could be called up, you know, as late as Saturday or even Sunday morning. Uh, Paul? Hey, Mike, this is a better look as opposed to that phony background. Um, you guys obviously scouted Gladney and Dantzler uh, as you were looking for for cornerback of your own and and Fulton. What's your sense of them uh, at this point while the Vikings are revamping their secondary? Good young players, active. You know their DBs are all very good tacklers. Um, that that's the one thing I can appreciate. They play multiple coverages. Um, you know, so again, it's like a lot of young players in this league. There, there's some good plays that show that uh, the ability is there and that they flash. You know, and I'm sure there's some plays that they'd like to have back. That that's, uh, you know, there, there's running a lot of different coverages, you know, and um, you know, I know that Mike Mike asks a lot of those guys and, and asks them to to fit in the run and and be physical, but also you know play their fair share of man coverage and match coverage. You've obviously got your hands full. Is there any point during the week where you have any kind of conversations with John about college scouting, or are you completely uninvolved in that until the season's over? I would say right now my focus is, is on the, the football team and the National Football League, and, um, you know, college scouting will, you know, we'll get into that at, at, when, the, when the season's over. Appreciate it. Uh, 
Mike, I was, I was wondering, I know obviously last month um, with the, the shooting death of Jacob Blake, you know, created a, a sort of a different environment out there. A lot of, you know, meetings, discussions, some productive steps. Wondering if the events in, in Louisville yesterday have led to any similar types of discussion events, if, if you fielded any, uh, you know, requests for players to, to talk about that at all. Um, not not in a open forum of um, – in our team meeting setting, and I'm sure there's a, a bunch of emotions. There's there's a wide range of emotions that that go on as um, events happen across you know our country. Um, I think that that our leadership and our and our players have always had an open forum to discuss things that that hasn't come up as of yet. Uh, but we'll, we'll always have a have a place to be able to do that here. Sure. One, one more on a uh, on a football note. I guess uh, Darrington Evans, quite a you know college background in terms of being a kick returner. Um, I wonder, you know, if, if when he's healthy, you guys were to, to give him a shot there. How much do you have to weigh the fact that you never got a chance to see him in a, you know in a, even in a preseason game or anything like that versus what potential he might have? I think we'd like to get him out there first, and then we can figure out what what positions he's going to play. Uh, Buck. Hey, Coach. Now that you've had Vic as a full participant through a handful of practices, just kind of curious as to what you've seen from him in terms of growth uh, on the field. I'd say that'd be similar to Darrington. Like to like to see him out there and then see where we can put him. Uh, Terry. Mike. Uh on the Isaiah Wilson front, uh, he's obviously uh, still on the COVID list. I think time-wise, he's eligible to come off. Can you give us an update on where he is? He's still on the COVID list. Uh, Eric? Hey, Mike. Uh, Buck actually took my question. So I, I see you're in your office there. I'm just curious. You know, I see memorabilia photos that sort of thing do you have a prized possession in there or, or something that maybe means more to you than the rest this tv that i watch film on 